Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I have an estate sale haul. I do apologize for the lighting. Um, it's winter time and this is just how it's going to be, uh, even though it's noon. Um, so I know it's been 11 days into the new year and I have not made a video, but I have just this cold from the sinus infection that won't go away. So last weekend was the first day of this estate sale. I didn't even look at any ads to see what sales were going on. And when I showed up this morning, they were not there yet. So I had no clue. But luckily I messaged the person because it was a Facebook marketplace post and they said, yes, we are here now. We were stuck in traffic. Um, so I spent $17.50 and I am quite pleased with what I got. So the first thing that I picked up to buy were these ornaments. And I'm not crazy about the box. Um, and I really don't decorate with the ornaments, but they were a dollar. And actually they wound up being 50 cents. And they were in such nice shape. The uh, indents, the colors, there's like no paint chips, there's some hand painting, there's some glitter. Um, and I, you know, it was the first thing that I saw. And sometimes I'll pick things out and I'll just kind of test out to see what the price would be to see if I should actually be grabbing a bunch of things or if it's more than what I want to pay. So when he had said a dollar for each box, I said, okie dokie. So very, very nice. There are seven in there and a nice box. Okay, so there was this very nice box that's red with silver polka dots in good shape. And it has some like, I don't know if I'll call it wrapping paper. It's actually not. It's I guess it's just the decoration to keep it in because there's cardboard or like a stiff board under this. And maybe it's meant to be like a Christmas gift set just because this does feel very Christmassy. But um, this was a dollar and I really wanted it for the box, but it does have two crackers and all the tools to get the meat out, which we don't really have nuts sitting around to do that with, which we could in the future. But these are great for when you have lobster. And um, lobster crackers can be expensive. So these work and this stuff works to get in there. So two crackers plus all the stuff for a dollar plus a box that I'll use for my Christmas display. And a 29 cent Woolworths price tag. So I will, I will, I will use all of this stuff in different ways. I have been burning a lot of beeswax candles to create a nice mood in the house, and I actually read that beeswax was good for purifying the air. I don't know. Um, so these are, I don't know if these are beeswax, but they have that yellowish look to them. An older Pottery Barn logo, so that these were made in the Netherlands, and originally they were $9 on sale for $2.19 at Pottery Barn and he charged me a dollar. And the reason why I purchased these, because I would not if they were not like this, um, is because it has that wick that's attached to both of them. So in my kitchen, I have that little peg hook holder thing. And I think that that would be nice to hang two sets over those for a little bit of decor. They could be extra big birthday candles. Uh, so we are up to $2.50. Um, then there were some of these wedding cards that, you know, from weddings, and I grabbed them for the crafting possibilities. Um, some sugar bells that are uh, very clean. And then the other one had this little champagne glass that is, is got a silver glitter design into the plastic and what's funny is I really needed a little champagne glass like this for that last New Year's Eve assemblage I did and I, I could not find one um, so now I did but I will just put that next to it or with my New Year's decor which I still have up so I'll actually put that back out for a little bit and I think that those two little things he charged me a, a dollar total for and I told him I liked Christmas and he was finding some things for me. So I paid a dollar for these and I love that they are obviously in 
brand new in the package. Now, they did tear once they went into the box. You know, they're older and this is fragile. So I will keep them in the package until next Christmas. And then if I do pull them out to display them, I will save this packaging. And they have little blue Japan stickers. There was a little corsage in a Tupperware and I saw there was a price tag hanging from it. So I thought, oh, cool. So I paid a dollar for this, but that said originally it was $3.50, which I think is kind of expensive, or maybe the going rate for something like this. So it wasn't like a 15 cent Woolworth price tag, but I grabbed this because there were um, some really nice crafting materials on it, but I probably will just actually embellish this and then put this out for fall. I love it. You look beautiful. <laughs> now that kids can't be in videos anymore. Very sorry. She wants to be. Um, a lot of the things were in um, those like plastic clamshell takeout container boxes wrapped in saran wrap and had notes with them. Um, so I think the person was sentimental, also possibly like a dealer, antiques dealer. Um, but that was good for me because I had some cool notes and some dates on things, which um, make it priceless. You know, like how, how, when are you ever going to find this bell with that person's note? Like you never will find that again. So because the man was charging between 50 cents and $3 for everything, I didn't open every box and pick out what I wanted. I just, if I saw something good in the box, I, I, I put it in my pile. So these two things were in a little box. I paid a dollar and I grabbed it specifically for this. Um, but I thought this was really nice too. So a lot of these items are like new, very, very clean. Even though this was what I would consider a digger sale, the stuff was in nice shape. And it has a little red marking that says made in Japan. So I'm going to put this out for New Year's right now. And in it was this note that says, Angel, my mother's early 1950s, always on the Philco radio. Isn't that wonderful? And then this one, which is a rose bro, because it's uh, stamped underneath. And I've had a couple of these, but I haven't found one that had a nice red uh, ribbon that hasn't faded to orange yet. And this one said, my mother's 1950s, always on the Philco radio. Also in another one of these little like clamshell takeout containers, um, the man had handed me, because uh, I said I like many things to craft with, were these tin trains. I guess that's a train car. I don't know. They probably link together. Obviously that one is. These are in such nice shape and they came with a cool little note as well. Here's a flatbed one. And I think they were a dollar and it said toy trains, my toy train, four in the set, Christmas 1944. Love it. Um, let's see. Okay. So I think he charged me a dollar for this, which is fine. Cause I feel like I got such a good deal on everything else. And it has a Woolworth price tag that says 15 cents. It doesn't have a top to the box. Um, it, is it shiny bright? It might be a shiny bright. It doesn't say it on the bottom, but it is another little nativity scene. And that one's in good shape. Cause sometimes the, um, the, uh, trees will be broken off. Okay. So I'll show you the last two things. Um, it's two nativity sets, and the one was $2 and one was $3. Um, so everything came to $15.50, and then I saw this sitting there, and I said, is that an electric tea kettle? And not that I need one, because I have a hot water maker next to the coffee pot, but it had such a cool shape to it. And he said, yes, and it has never been used. So he said, make me an offer, and I thought, I don't need this and I don't know if I would use it. So a dollar and I'm not being trying to be cheap. I just don't really know if I need it. So he said, how about two? And I said, okay. So it came to 1750. And this is a cozy for it that fits perfectly on there. And it's got this felt wool pad and it's got the little cardboard in there and it is, it's never been used. I mean, this is clean as can be, but there's crazing. So I'm thinking about removing the sticker that says it was uh, Dolphin Creations Made in Japan and refiring this 
um, to see if I can get the glaze to go smooth again, and then I would feel a whole lot better about using this. Um, but I have been to tea houses that have served me tea in crazed and tea-stained spouts, and I am alive, and I did not get sick. <laughs> so $2 for this, and I must say, even if I don't use it, it looks so cute here in my dining room with my plaid tablecloth. <laughs> Gold and white. So I paid, um, I think, $2 for the chalkware set, or maybe $3 for the chalkware set, and $2 for the antique paper mache German set. So $5 total for both. Um, so before I show you them, it was cool because, again, more notes. And so this one said that um, his grandparents were married in 1902. So they had the set for over 100 years from Germany. And then his dad got it when his mom passed away in the 50s. And then he got it from his parents in the 90s when they passed away. And he was hoping that somebody would keep it or sell it and put it into his trust. Except I got it and I will appreciate it and love it. So let me share with you what they are. So these are the plaster or a chalkware set and um, I, they said three and I thought that was nice because I really liked these sheep. I have two putt sheep that I cannot find and I put all my stuff out this year. I went through, decorated, purged, organized. I don't know where they are, so I'm hoping they pop up. <laughs> um, so I could use some sheep they were in nice shape. Um, I don't know, what's that? That's just like color. So I don't see any markings on the bottoms. And they were in this box, except this box was open, so this was facing down. And I think that this was a find in itself because with the color and the idea that it's spiced wafers will be perfect for Halloween decorating. And it says it is flavored with spices and molasses and it's Nabisco and it says crib ornaments crib figures um, so I don't know if something else was in that and then they put that in there and then this is the German set and um, I think two of the heads have been repaired but I think they are in wonderful shape I would love to add both of these sets to my collection so here um, I think the sheep are the easiest to see where it says Germany um, so these are like, if they're saying that maybe his parents or his, I guess they'd be his grandparents received these when they got married in 1902. So they're like 120 years plus older. Um, I just think that that is really awesome. And I think that that baby Jesus is pretty cute right there. And then very, very faintly on the other bottoms, you can see that it is stamped. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul and let me see if there's a spot or two I can take you around in the house so you can see where I put a couple of these things that aren't Christmas out. It wouldn't be a video unless I forgot something. So this was sitting behind me. So this is how most of the items um, were that I showed you. So I could tell that there were some left in, I think lambs and bunnies in here. So this was probably $2 for this container. So let me stop it and take them out. So there are two of the rabbits, and I really love um, these rabbits with their, um, I don't know, they're not like that cute. <laughs> they look like serious faces. I just see there's a repair on the ear. Um, so that one says uh, they were bought in 1972. Let's see if there's any issues on this one. He looks good. They are larger than what I have, so that'll be a nice addition. And then a lamb. You can see that's the shape of the Lefton tag, and then Lefton always has like numbers. And then that one has the tag that's on there. Here in my cabinet, I put out the little, was it a bell or is it just a figurine? I don't know, I guess it's just a little figurine. And I've got my little note under there. I've added two sets of the candles here on the hooks.